know it may not look like it, but I'm actually working. This is one of my favorite places in the world. I'm in Zermatt, Switzerland with Oris. I say I'm with Oris. Oris has paid for the travel. Um, they haven't paid me to be here. One of the things I have in common with Oris is we're both completely independent. I love this place because it's like living in a postcard. It's quite ridiculous. You see these little buggies, little electric cars, diesel won't. Well, Combustion engines aren't allowed in Zermatt. There's, there's a, a, a boundary where the, the cars have to stop. Any combustion engine vehicle has to stop. And you're only allowed to drive electric vehicles in Zermatt. Obviously, the, the best part is the air here is pure. I mean, you're in the mountains anyway, but that's elevated by the fact that there's just no combustion engines around. So one thing that makes me laugh about the whole uh, watch scene is that a watch scene from, from the, the watch company point of view is that a lot of these, a lot of brands market their products as being purposeful, as, as being able to do stuff, whether it's water resistance, uh, whether it's, it's aviation, that, that a lot of people sell their watches because they have a purpose. Yet when they do press events, that's, that's what this is, this is a press event, there's, there's probably about uh, 20, 30 journalists have, have come out here. Um, but usually when, when watch brands put on press events, it's in some fancy restaurant or they hire out a hotel suite and, and put on so, some lavish scenery that just really isn't in line with the branding of the brand itself or of the products that they're promoting, the products that they're showcasing. And it's also very heavily weighted on the presentation. It's all about, look at us, look at what we're doing, look at these great products, we want you to talk about it. And this is one of the reasons I love Oris, is that <laughs> they are literally the complete opposite to that. So this, this whole event is uh, a two-day event. Basically, the, the first day we... Uh, don't want to get run over. Basically, the first day is uh, doing this, this night hike, this night walk through the snow in the mountains to uh, a really cool restaurant literally in the middle of nowhere, had a fondue, and then Rolf, the CEO of Oris, mm. showcased oh, the watch serious. that was being launched that day. Uh, and it's, it's a very, very loose, very chilled out event, but it's the presentation is probably 15, 20 minutes, and then you just eat great food and get merry. The second day today is uh, all about the snow. Go up the mountains, snowboard or ski. There, there weren't many snowboarders this year. You go down the slopes for about three or four hours and then uh, hang out at a restaurant for a bit. That's when Oris showcases the watches that they're gonna launch for the coming year. And then again, good food, lots of drink. Then uh, carry on snowboarding. That's literally it. The focus is about having a good time. Of course, there's the tone of, we would like the journalists to talk about this product, although, I don't know, 80% of the products that they show you can't talk about because they're all embargo. There was one watch that they launched uh, that we got hands on with, which was a new Big Crown pointer date with a new movement. This is an updated caliber. It's still part of the caliber 400 family, but you know when they first launched the Calibre 400, which is their in-house developed movements, there was a bit of an issue with uh, setting the time where when you return the crown, you set the time and then return the crown back to its uh, zero position, the second hand would jump, obviously then making the watch inaccurate. Uh, they fixed that issue, that no longer happens. They've also made a few other tweaks around some things, but the, the, the fancy bit around this watch, fancy bit, the different thing around this watch is that it's manual wind. This is a manual wine caliber 400, and it's a 473. But the thing is, this has two barrels. And when you have a manual wine watch, you don't have to wind it every day or every other day. So they've got two barrels in this watch. That gives it five days of power reserve. And as it's manual wind, you want to know how much power reserve is in the watch. So they've added a power reserve indicator on the back of the watch. They didn't give much technical detail around the power reserve indicator. Um, they said it's a new thing, but it's patent pending. And so they didn't really want to talk about it, which is, quite fun. Oris has this tagline of uh, go your own way, but they do it and uh, I like that. I appreciate that. I mean, it's, I, I might be quite biased and it's the fact that 
I love snowboarding. Um, I love the Alps and I love Zermatt, so maybe I do have a bias on that. I'm sure other watch journalists enjoy the, the, the fancy dinners, fancy hotel rooms. I'd take falling down a snowy mountain over a fancy dinner any day. I know some people get grumpy about me promoting my watch straps, but it's what keeps this channel independent. So many people take money to talk about watch brands and taking accepting trips to the Alps isn't an alternative to money. It's, sure, it's fun, but it's just the job. The job on its own is fun. This is fun, but fun doesn't pay the bills. And so the watch straps keep the channel independent. And that's exactly how I like it. So check out our watch straps over at barkandjack.com. Guys, let me know what you think of this watch. Let me know what you think of Zermatt, and if you've been to Zermatt, as life goal is to move here. I don't think it will ever happen because a shoebox is about one and a half million here. But uh, we can all dream, right? If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you like the start of this video, then hit the subscribe button down there and that little bell icon so you get notifications when I drop a new video. If you're on Instagram, give me a follow at Bark and Jack. Give me a follow on my photography stuff at Adrian Barker. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.